And to those of you in the room, as you think about your career, there's a lesson, for me at least, the answer is you can be or do whatever it is you set your mind to, but find there's going to be people that you have common interests with that can help you. You don't have to do it alone. It's harder if you do it alone. You may be able to do it alone, but you don't have to do it alone. And frankly, if you get other people invested in your success, you're more likely to be successful yourself, and you'll share that success with someone else. And don't be reluctant to apply for a position. Women in particular tend to apply only for positions they believe they are clearly confident that they are competent for and qualified for, not the stretch positions. What are you, why not? What's the worst thing that can happen? You won't get the job that you don't think you're ready for. But don't self-select out. What I've been talking to you about this morning is really everyday courage, living your life according to your own conscience and your own desires. John McCain has said courage is a muscle. And if you exercise it in everyday ways, it gets stronger. So it's there when you really need it for the very big things. Some days, as I said to you, it's just putting one foot in front of the other. It may be dealing with a sick family member or a sick child. It may be confronting a bully or calling out sexism or racism for what it is. Some days, courage is just helping someone else to do the thing that they fear. Everyone here has courage. Some days we feel it more than others. But it's there as long as we remember to use it and to reach beyond our grasp.